Everyone who pre-ordered Kingdom Come Deliverance had a pretty good reward awaiting them. They were given some treasure maps that would lead them to some pretty strong and valuable equipment, and you may be thinking, well that's annoying because I didn't pre-order it. But don't worry because today I'm going to show you exactly where you can find the ancient treasure without using the maps. I'll warn you now, there are 5 maps in total and beware, you will need to bring a spade and lockpicks for some of them. I'll tell you which ones as we go through. So as you can see, the first location is northeast of Rate or southeast of Neuhof. So just fast travel to one of them and ride your horse the rest of the way. However, you will need to bring a spade with you for this one, I had to learn that one the hard way. But anyway, it's actually quite hard to miss as it's in somewhat of an open area of the forest and the grave itself is very obvious. So just head over to it and start digging. I've sped this part of the footage up obviously. And yeah, I have no idea why <laughs> why the skeleton head is that big. I, I, I don't know, there's probably something there. But yeah, as you can see, you can find a good amount of groschen and a lot of uh, other things. You'll also find lucky dice, or lucky die in, in a lot of these chests, there's a collection of them. And um, they can be used to win gambling things and stuff in the game, so yeah. Keep them. And here obviously is just the map, again, just so you can see another look at it. So location number two guys, pretty much directly east of Rate. As you can see, I'm showing you the route I took on the screen just now. So when you first get here, you will likely find this massive rock thing first. Just head down to the left of that, and you'll find the entrance to a little cave type thing, and there, there will be a bag there for you to loot. So the bag has quite a good few things as well, it's got some books that are worth a lot, it's worth probably learning to read so you can read them, and so on. So number three is probably the easiest one to find. You just have to fast travel to Ushits, not entirely sure how you pronounce that, not gonna lie, <laughs> and uh, travel north until you find this grave. You'll need a spade obviously for this one and you'll find it underneath a tree, it's like a big tree, you won't, you can't miss it. And then you know, there's two skeletons kind of holding each other and you'll find all of this loot that you can take that they don't need anymore. So there's like a good chunk of grosh. I'm not sure if the chests are the exact same for every person but yeah, I found a good chunk of grosh and a very good plate, a very good piece of armour that I still use today and a warhammer. So yeah, here's a look at the map again, pretty easy to find. So number 4 isn't too difficult to find either. You will find this big ruin just off the side of the road. Inside there will be a chest. For me it had an easy lockpick I believe. I had no trouble getting into this so hopefully you won't either. If you do have trouble however, you can take a look at my lockpicking guide and that should help you out a bit. So inside there were some decent loot, not too much grosh in 200 but yeah books and things are very helpful either way. So I'm showing you right now how I got there. Okay guys, so I'm not gonna lie, number 5 is a bit of a pain. Um, basically, uh, it's just up north of uh, Scarlet's in like in in like the uh, in the woods as you can see there. Um, it's like inside. It's like next to some like abandoned house. That's how I found it. It's it's a bit of a pain though. It's got a very hard lockpick I think. So it's 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 like pretty much impossible to get into this at like any level of the game right now. Hopefully, it will become easier of course, uh, and and you'll be able to to get into it. So if you just go through the forest, there will be this like sort of clearing. And uh, you'll find this like abandoned uh, house type thing that's kind of broken down, and it says it's a it's a deer hunting spot as well. So yeah, there there's that. So you'll find this chest is sitting here, and yes, it's a very hard lock, or it was for me. So I decided to try and save the game and give it a couple of goes. To know to, if it's a very hard lock and you've got like no experience, it's just gonna break instantly. It says this lock is too difficult, and as you can see, as I just as I press um, even just just press D, it just locks. It just breaks instantly, pretty much. So yeah, there's no point in even bothering with that, to be honest. So um, unless you're good at lock picking and have a high lock picking skill, probably give this one a skip. So guys, that's all I have for you today. As always, if you enjoyed the video and would like to see some more of my content, you can always subscribe and maybe leave a like as well. But with that said, I'll see you in the next one.